Hello, good day. So today we will be discussing how to make a categorical frequency distribution using Excel. So we have here data from social science students about their personality, the number of children they have in the family, and their internet usage. Now let's focus on categorical data. So let's just focus on ambivert, the personality extrovert and um, introvert. Now, to get the frequency, all you have to do is click equal, write count. Count if, select the range, select everything in this cell, comma, and the criteria. The criteria that you actually want is this one, the ambivert in this cell. It's just hidden, but it's in this cell, and you click enter. Let's do it again. Count if, select the range, comma, and then the criteria. The criteria is somewhere here in E6. It's at the back of this one. And then click enter. Then again, count if, select this one, all the range. And then the criteria is in E7, enter. So this is our, the total ambivert, the total introvert, and the total extrovert. And when you total it, we just use sum, equal sum, and click everything there. How about the percentage? For the percentage, we will divide it with nine, divided by the total. Again, it's 13 divided by the total and 8 divided by the total. If it's not yet written in percentage, you can always click this one. Again, you can always click this one. You can write it as a general number, but it's better if you write it in percentage. Now, what is cumulative? Cumulative is just add this. That will be our first one. Our second one is this one plus this one. And our last one is this one plus this one plus this one. You can also use this one. And this one. And you'll have 31. And that would be the total. Okay. We can use two graphs to represent this data. You can use this by selecting all of the frequency and the personality data. And then click insert, insert graph. So let's have a pie chart first. Yeah. Now, the one that is better looking is actually the one with all labels. So you can click here, quick layout. And I think this one is better because it will show everything here. the percentage and the, the label. So I think, yeah, this is better. Now we put the chart label, that percentage of sock size, class, personality. Now the second one, you can represent this, this one with a bar graph. Now to use that, click insert, and then click bar. Yeah. Or you can always use the recommended charts. Normally, they would show you the proper um, charting. So I'll use bar graph or here in Excel, they call it the column graph. For the column graph, we have that. You can always change the size. That is better. And then always change the label, the title of. And that's it. So this is how we show categorical frequency distribution in tables and in graphs.